Fit and 10 Nation, it is day 46 of the Fit and 10 Challenge, and I'm just going to tell you straight up, I'm not going to the Arnold, so, um, yeah, I, all classes will be running as normal. I will be teaching tomorrow night, which is Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and many of the other lift camps and boot camps, if you so choose to come out to any of those. Uh, let's get right into some questions here. Um, belly fat, I promise I would talk about this. So, all right, so when you talk about belly fat, I'm not sure if you're referring to visceral fat or subcutaneous fat. You're probably referring to both, but they're different. And I think one is a little more threatening than the other. So let's talk about them, your, your subcutaneous. Well, I have talked about these in, the, in a previous video, but subcutaneous is the fat that sits basically underneath the skin and uh, above the muscle. So it's the stuff you can pinch. And visceral fat sits inside the abdominal cavity and uh, surrounds your organs. So, um, you know, when it comes to subcutaneous fat, is there any way to specifically target that? Um, yes, it's called diet and exercise. And you might believe that there is some trick, maybe there is and I don't know about it, but um, that's literally what it takes. But you know, I know what a lot of you think, it's like, well I have maybe more fat there, how can I target, how can I get rid of it? Your body is going to dispose fat somewhere on your body and it's not gonna go evenly. But listen, your stomach's really not the worst place it could go. I mean, I don't know, imagine it going to your head, right? Imagine if all your fat went to your head, right? We would look like just, well, we wouldn't really look very good, right? So, um, you know, just be thankful you're not a fathead, okay? It's gotta go somewhere. So. Uh, typically in men, not always, but typically it's going to go in the lower back and midsection. Ladies, typically it's going to go on the thighs and the glutes, generally speaking. But uh, there is no way to get through this other than losing body fat. And you might say, well, I noticed that it's coming off here, but it's not coming off, say, on my stomach. Like maybe it's coming off your arm, maybe it's coming off your limbs, but not your stomach. The reality is it's coming off everywhere, but if you hold more in your stomach, uh, then that's going to be the last place to go. All right. For me personally, and I know this because I I get or I've gotten very very lean, five six percent body fat. Uh, for you know competitive bodybuilding, um, the last place for me is my back, my lower back and my lower stomach. It's just the way it is. It's always been that been that way since I started competing twenty years ago, twenty one years ago, twenty two years ago. Jesus, I keep forgetting how old I am. Um, so it's just the way it is. Just that's genetic based, okay? So diet and exercise. Sorry. Now you might you might think that if you do some abdominal work, will that you know will that get you lean in the stomach? The answer is no. However, if you build musculature, uh, if you build more muscle in your abdominals, then. Um, you're going to change the ratio of fat to muscle in that area. So it might look a bit leaner, but you're not going to burn body fat, right? So if you build a little more muscle in that area, all of a sudden you might say, well, I can see my abdominals slightly more. Yes, it's because you've developed your abdominals, okay? There is no way to, uh, you know, spot reduce. There is just, there just is no way. There's no creams. There's no secret other than diet and exercise, okay? Visceral fat. Um, that's inside the abdominal cavity. This is a very interesting one. Um, this is the one where, this is a classic beer belly. Beer belly is not subcutaneous fat. Beer belly is visceral fat. So why is that? Well, I don't know, but it's, it's you know, it's, we see it a lot in, in people who drink a lot of alcohol. Um, I used to have more in my abdomen. I didn't know until I had a DEXA scan done. I, I've had various DEXA scans done in my life. This is a different kind of scan where they can actually tell the difference between subcutaneous and visceral fat. It's x-ray technology, uh, essentially. A very expensive x-ray machine that scans your body. Um, the first two Fit and 10 challenges I ran, I sent people for DEXA scans. Um, anyways, I'll tell you something very interesting. When I was... Um, so when I was, when I'd go in for my scans and I was much leaner, my visceral fat was, 
you know, a certain amount. But it wasn't until, well, this is my own conclusion. I could be wrong. I, this sounds a bit hokey, but I started having, I do lime juice. I do a full lime every single morning. I do a full lime. I do about an eighth of a cup of apple cider vinegar, and I do uh, a few, uh, I do about half teaspoon of, of uh, pink Himalayan sea salt. And I put that in two liters of water, and I drink it over the course of about 20 minutes first thing in the morning. I've been doing that for quite some time. So when I, so when I started doing this, and then I went in for a DEXA scan, so I'd been doing it for like a year, and then I went in for a DEXA scan, my visceral fat was at an all-time low, okay? My body fat levels were average, like what they are right now, okay? And, and my my visceral fat was at an all-time low. My visceral fat had been higher before, even when my subcutaneous body fat levels were lower. So I'm like, well, what changed? Like what possible, I'm older too, so I should have more visceral fat. The only thing I can I can attribute it to is that concoction I have in the morning, because nothing's really changed. So that's, you know, that's what I'm thinking. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know. But I do know that uh, that you know things like lime juice will help cleanse the liver and liver is your your fat burning organ um, I do also know that ACV is known to help to burn visceral fat there's no proof of that by the way that's just like I don't know who came up with that maybe it was somebody like me right um, but that's what I that's you know like I said that's the only thing I changed so visceral fat you can try doing the ACV and lime juice thing. Um, although there's a few dentists in this challenge, well, there's one that will warn you of the acidity involved in that. Um, she gave me toothpaste for that one, by the way. Thank you, by the way. Anyways, I digress a little bit. That's all I'm gonna say on that, okay? So if you want to lose body fat, essentially, subcutaneous is really what you're referring to when you talk about uh, belly fat. There's no secret, okay? We need some, some reduction in energy, um, in total energy balance. That's essentially it, okay? Now it's obviously a little bit more complicated than that, but that's essentially it, okay? Exercise and watch your eating. All right, uh, let's get the message of the day. Mess of the day is what is the secret? Just tell me what the secret is. I already gave you the answer. You already know what the answer is. The answer is diet and exercise. Well, not exactly. It is that, but it's more it's more of a broad answer. It's being reasonable and consistent with the right things. Being reasonable and consistent. It sounds like maybe I'm trying to sell you something. Well, actually it doesn't really, because it's not sexy at all. But it's the truth. It is the absolute truth. It has to be lifestyle based. You can't expect to follow some trendy diet or some special program and then stop it and you know maintain the results that you got from that. It has to be something that is sustainable through time. And if it's gonna be sustainable through time, it's got to be something that is replicatable. Now obviously have you measure your food like rep replicatable on a daily basis for the rest of your life. I have you measure your food. Now, this is only for you to get a knowledge of what contains what and in what proportion, okay? That's really what it's about. That's why I have you do it. You don't have to live this way for the rest of your life. So, and of course, I include all foods, right? I don't cut out any foods. So I'm trying to make this as, you know, as sustainable as possible. So that is the secret, okay? Submit, commit. Keep submitting and committing, okay? Uh, even those of you who have quit, you can still come back. Always. Okay. I'm, I'm going to encourage you to come back. You're probably not watching this video. Hopefully you are, but I doubt it. Um, positive energy, positive vibes. I will read more gratitude tomorrow, but you can still send me your gratitude, please. I like to read it. And for the love of God, believe in yourself. I feel like there's something else I wanted to say and I can't remember. So maybe I'll mention it tomorrow because I don't remember it now. Have a wonderful evening, day 40, what did I say it was, 46? Day 46, wrap up, see you guys.